if you've been paying attention to anything that we've been talking about for the last three months, we can clearly understand that fast food is a shell of what it used to be. Now, what I mean by that is that fast food was intended to be quick, affordable eats, and that is completely gone. We always talked about the impact that the increase in California of the minimum wage would have across all of the different workers and all of the different sections of the fast food industry. And now it comes to light. We're going to look at a breakdown of prices at the end of 2019 to where they sit currently in 2024 for just a few of the top fast food restaurants in the industry. Now, hold your horses because I understand this could seem intimidating. Now, what we are saying is that these are averages that are caught across the entire country, just snapshots in the moment of what we are seeing. They might be higher, they might be lower, and they could change at any point. But where we sit here today, this is the reality of the world we are living in with the increase in prices for fast food. Let's take a look. $101 for a Krabby Patty? With cheese, Mr. Squidward, with cheese. We're gonna start off with one of the most famous, and that is McDonald's. Now, you can also see that we are gonna look at Taco Bell and Chick-fil-A. Now, Chick-fil-A has always been known for having higher than average prices. However, Taco Bell was always a great late night solution, and McDonald's was a consistent winner. So, looking at this, we're gonna look at some of the most common food items that we find on these menus. Number one for McDonald's, we see the medium French fry. The end of 2019 price is $1.79. Now we see $4.19, representing a 134.1% increase. Just the French fries alone, that is crazy. Now, if you think about it, a French fry order is really just about one potato. So one potato, when you go to the store, you can buy them for 30 cents, 40 cents. Now I understand that McDonald's gets their potatoes special from a specific place and they use a very specific formula to grow those potatoes. However, a 134% increase over a four year time frame is insane. Let's look at the next one, the McChicken. $1.29 to $3.89. I remember going and getting a McChicken and a cheeseburger and eating both of those and it still cost me about $4. Now we see the McChicken alone is $3.89, representing a 201.6% increase. That is astronomical. The Big Mac going from $3.99 to $7.49, the 10-piece nugget going from $4.49 to $7.58, and the cheeseburger going from $1 to $3.15. This is absurd. Again, as I said, fast food is supposed to be economical quick, affordable eats. And we're seeing that over just a four year period, that is no longer the case. So obviously McDonald's is one of the industry standard. We get that McDonald's is going to make changes as they need and they are a trendsetter. But let's look at Taco Bell, the beefy five layer burrito, $1.69 to $3.69, a 118.3% increase, two full dollars for the exact same thing. Now a beefy five layer burrito is some meat, some cheese, and some beans, I believe, in a burrito. A $2 increase, that means you've increased it more than 100% in this case. It's the exact same amount, they're just taking a scoop and throwing it onto a shell and rolling it up. That's insane to me, a 118% increase over that time frame. Nachos Bel Grande, 329 to 589, spicy potato soft taco, a dollar. To $1.19, cheesy bean and rice burrito, a dollar to $1.19, and the Crunch Wrap Supreme, $3.49 to $5.29. What I can say is a dollar to $1.19 over the past four years with everything that's happened is not horrible. But I do believe that this probably is because they don't want to completely alienate their market. They understand that people are still going to be looking for those affordable options, which is why they pick the ones that cost the least to them and increase the prices almost in line with what they would be expecting for their cost of goods in relation to the products sold. So 19 cents, not a bad idea, but again, a spicy potato soft taco that's literally potatoes in a shell and cheesy bean and rice burrito, it's cheese, beans, and rice in a shell. $1.19, I'm happy with that, but it's still, we're seeing the increase across the board. Price at Chick-fil-A. Now I do wanna emphasize that there are statistics that show that Chick-fil-A is the highest grossing fast food restaurant per door, basically meaning each individual 
Chick-fil-A makes more money per year than any of the other fast food restaurants. That is an incredible statistic. Now we're seeing though the increasing in pricing here for a deluxe chicken sandwich, one of their most famous meals that they have at Chick-fil-A, 365 to 655, 79.5% increase. An eight piece Chick-fil-A nugget, which has always been expensive, but $3.05 to 599, almost a 100% increase. Now again, this is not the whole meal. This is just the chicken nuggets themselves. Four chicken strips, 439 to 785, medium waffle fry, $1.65 to 299, and a large milkshake, 315 to 519. What we're seeing here from McDonald's is an average increase of these five items of 141%, Taco Bell 57.4%, and Chick-fil-A 80.1%. I mean, this is absurd. We've always talked about inflation or the increase in prices within these specific industries. We are seeing it right here. This has been four years. And within these four years, we are hurting. We are begging for help. We are hoping that we can come up with a solution. Obviously the solution is not just waiting for them to lower the prices, but we are seeing here where prices are being jacked up. Now guys, do what you have to do, do the best that you can, and just play it safe. If you can't afford the increase in prices, don't force it. But again, as always, thank you for watching this episode of the Prototopics Pulse. And until next time, remember, create, innovate, and inspire.